Hello friends, now in this video we will discuss the next tool which is called pen tool. If you are using any other tool, just press P key on your keyboard and the pen tool will activate. We will create a new document like file new and I will use something like uh, print A4 and orientation landscape. Pen tool, if you know the pen tool, like if you have complete grip on the pen tool, you know like 50% of the Photoshop. Because with pen tool, we can create logos, even for the uh, background of the brochures, leaflets, flyers, we use this tool. So this tool is very important tool of the Photoshop. So here you can see like we have shape and path. So make sure in start you have shape. From here we can fill the shape with color, with gradient or with pattern or this one is no color. So make sure this is no color and this is stroke, stroke is outline. So right now you can see this is black and this is stroke size that is now one pixels. And this one you can set the stroke type like this is line, this is dashed, this is dotted. <coughs> So first of all click and you can see it will create a point. This point is called anchor point. A-N-C-H-O-R anchor point. Now if you click here you can see it, this will create a straight line but from here you can see it is not straight. So to make sure you are creating a straight line you can press and hold shift and then click. So now this is a straight line. So first thing is this like how we can create a straight line with the pen tool. Now the second thing how we can create a curve uh, or a bend with the pen tool. So we will continue our shape and I will click here for example and now make sure you will press and hold left click on your mouse and then move like if I move it on top uh, the mouse if I move on top the curve will go bottom and if I move my mouse bottom the curve will go top <coughs> like this so when you have created a curve now you can see there is like two lines so these lines indicate like if I click now Photoshop will continue this curve like this but for instance if we want to make a straight line now or if we want to make a curve according to our requirements so we will have to stop this curve now so we can press and hold alt key on your keyboard and then make sure the last anchor point click there you can see this line will disappear see it means now the curve the automatic curve has been stopped and now we can create even a straight line or even a curve according to my requirements so you can see this so keep this in your mind that whenever you will create a curve just uh, press and hold alt key on your keyboard and click on the last anchor point like we have created another curve now so we will press and hold alt key and we will stop this one so again now for example if I want another curve like this and from where we started we will click there now you can see this is a unique shape which we have created using the pen tool now we can fill with color if you click here it will fill with black color now if you want to fill with, with another color like with red yellow light green and light blue dark blue there are different colors you can fill with one of them and uh, if you want to fill the shape with gradient you can click on gradient and we can also fill with gradient second thing like we can choose gradient types like linear we have we can choose radial we can choose angle or reflected or even diamond 
and uh, even we can change this the angle like 180 degree now scale also like we can increase or reduce <coughs> And then we have pattern, so we can also fill with pattern. If you want to fill with pattern, you can see there are different patterns. You can fill them with pattern. And if you have few patterns here, you can click here and then uh, like uh, you can see here uh, load pattern. So if you have save the load patterns file in your computer, you can also load. <coughs> So I will fill this with a color like this one and then we have stroke stroke now it's black outline or it's also called border this is the size like right now it's one pixels if I type like five so you can see now it's five pixels if I press like 15 you can see 15 pixels and this is line we can select like dashed or dotted as well. And if you want to remove one of them like border if you want to remove or the fill color if you want to remove so click here and click this this means like no color no fill so now with selection tool we can move this shape press and hold control uh, press control plus t transform control will appear then press and hold shift we can resize it like this and then if you want uh, we can make a duplicate as well so press and hold alt and then drag like this now if you click on edit transform and flip horizontal you can see this will flip horizontal or if this one is here I will create duplicate from here then edit transform flip horizontal you can see something like this now if you press and hold alt like both are selected now so we can make something like this and then edit transform and flip vertical so flip vertical we can select now you can see if I select all of them and then select pen tool so we can apply like uh, the outline color to all of them So using the pen tool we can create beautiful logos like you can design or uh, you can make a sketch of the logo on white paper on blank paper first with uh, by your hand and then you can design here in Photoshop with the pen tool. So it's very good and uh, awesome tool you know. So let me show once again like select the pen tool and click this is called anchor point for straight line press and hold shift and click and create a straight line to make a curve you can press and hold a left click on your mouse then move the mouse and this will create like something uh, curve then press and hold alt key to stop the automatic curve and then create a curve or a straight line according to your requirements and then fill this shape with any color or even gradient and then if you want you can remove the stroke as well now you can see this one is here I will make duplicate and add it transform horizontal you can see this and then this is here and flip vertical select all of them control T even we can make patterns also like if I make duplicate of them then if we will make like this one so we can make also patterns with this tool so I hope you have learned a lot in this video and you will practice also on the pen tool please like my video also uh, comment and also share the video with your friends 
and if you have not subscribed yet my channel please subscribe thank you very much